Tsanin is one of the poorer areas of South Africa. Those who live here are far away from large towns and employment opportunities. They often have to be creative to make ends meet. Elizabeth Ngamba works for the Small Enterprise Foundation in South Africa. They make small loans to women who want to start businesses. SEF actually stands for Small Enterprise Foundation. It's a non-profit organization and it's an organization that is focused on poverty alleviation work. And we do this work by inspiring people to start small businesses. And then because we're particularly targeting very poor people, they don't have the money that they need to start the business. So we then lend them money in order to be able to start their businesses. Grace Mozzana also benefited from an SEF loan. She used the money to plant sorghum, some for her family and the rest to sell. It turned out to be a good investment. Her new small business is doing so well that she now even employs some of her neighbors to help her work her fields. This year, she expects an even bigger crop. When a client is inspired and they want to start a business, then what we'll do is we'll provide them with a loan. But now the question is, how do you provide a loan to somebody who you don't know the person, they haven't got any sort of uh, credit history, credit bureau reference, and they actually can't give you a written business plan. As many of our clients, most of our clients are actually literate. So the Grameen Bank in Bangladesh, which was started by Professor Muhammad Yunus, they came up with the idea that you could ask a person who wanted a loan to start a business, if they could go and find four other people who are also interested in starting businesses, but people who they knew really well, people they really trusted. And then the five could come together and if they would guarantee each other's loans, you could give loans to each one of the five to start their own business. And that's the approach which we tested in SEF in the early days and found that it worked extremely well. We are in the centre meeting. They are doing the payment and savings. The clients are not coming to us, we are coming to the clients. Uh, they pay in the centre meeting, they do loan proposal in the centre meeting, they get dispersed in the centre meeting. We read their savings balance and their daily savings in the centre meeting. SEF started in 1992 and we are now working with just over 95,000 people. So that means that every month our staff see every single one of those 95,000 people twice a month. And we have a staff of almost 500 now. SEF's customers are also helped to save and to manage their incomes. These are valuable skills that will help them make a success of their businesses in future. <laughs> Our dream and our focus is to see every poor person that we're working with be able to improve their lives to see a percentage of people who go beyond merely overcoming poverty, but actually starting small businesses and providing formal employment to other people. That's really what we dream of. We 
le fetruwe le ke a ile dintwa tsa dingwe tsa dikhoipile le business e wo dile e wo le tse o dile inthusi tse kudukudu ga dimoga bana o isha bana dikolong e bana ba phasitse e le nna ka mone ka golega le bona ka mogono ke le male mago ke thusitse ke sefo with funding provided by KD's asset management, SEF has helped create many sustainable businesses in this and other areas in South Africa. KD's utilizes the USAID guarantee where it is deemed necessary to reduce the investment risk on behalf of investors into the KD's high impact funds.